Welcome to the question number two of daily dose. So today we are here with a CR question. Let's have a look at the question. People who do regular volunteer work tend to live longer than people who do not. All right. So he says that the people who do volunteer work daily, they live longer than the people who do not. It has been found that doing good, a category that certainly includes volunteer work, release endomorphins. All right, so you start giving me a cause why they are living longer. The brain's natural opiates, which include in people a feeling of well-being. Clearly, there is a connection that regular releases of endomorphins must in some way help to extend people's lives. So what he's actually trying to do is, he talks about regular volunteer work people. He says they live longer and then he attribute the reason to it. That is the endomorphins because that is generated in them. Now, what we have to do? We do the following if true, more seriously undermine the force of the evidence for this particular conclusion that endomorphins are responsible for the longer life. So, remember guys, this is a typical GMAT cause effect question where he says that people who do volunteer work generate endomorphins and these people who are doing regular volunteer work, they live longer. Therefore, endomorphins have something to do with this longer life. Now, if I find some other cause that is attributed to these kind of people who do regular volunteer work, then it can undermine that it was the endomorphins because of which they were living longer. So we just have to go and find out some other cause for this effect of longer life. And that will automatically weaken this endomorphins effects for this longer life. Let's go ahead and look for the options. Once I see the option, clearly option C has nothing to do with our question. He says there are many people who have done some volunteer work but who do not do such work regularly. I'm never worried about these kind of people. I'm just attributing this endomorphins levels for regular volunteer people. Right, so I'm attributed this to people who do regular volunteer work. Now, if you're not doing work regularly, then how does this endomorphins can be related to this? Right, so I want this endomorphins levels in this people who do regular volunteer work. So you can cut down option C directly. You can also cut down option E, which talks about the long distance runners. I'm just responsible for the endomorphins and that kind of endomorphins levels which are generated in regular volunteer work people. Now, I'm left with option A, B and D. People who do regular volunteer work are only somewhat more likely than others to characterize the work they do for as doing good. So that means they are only able to know that they have just done a little bit of good work than that other people. But still, that would generate those endomorphins levels if they are thinking. So again, it does not help me to weaken or support that endomorphins are the one which are helping in the longer life. I need to know the cause for this longer life in this regular volunteer work people. So you can cut down option A as well. Option D is a very beautiful option. People tend not to become involved in regular volunteer work unless they are healthy and energetic to begin with. So now what I've found is that there is one thing that is healthy and energetic people. So if the people are healthy and energetic, then only they tend to get involved in this regular volunteer work. So if they are healthy and energetic, then they go for this work. That means it was not the endomorphins. It was their cause or it was their initial health and energetic levels, which helped them to go ahead and participate in this regular volunteer work. So they were looking long because of their original or initial health and energetic levels, not because of this endomorphins. So this weakens this. Option B says, although extremely high level of endomorphins, again, I'm not interested in this extremely high level of endomorphins. We are never talking about this extremely high levels. So here we are with the option D. But rather than the question, the most important is the concept. That is a cause effect relationship. GMAT often will throw you the questions over cause and effect, where he'll attribute a cause to a particular effect. And how you weaken it by finding out some other cause for this specific effect and how you strengthen it by saying that there cannot be any other cause which can lead to this effect so be aware of this cause and effect question hope you are enjoying the series and stay tuned for further upcoming questions you'll find the question number three tomorrow have a good day